Yo, what is up, friends? I am going out again today. It is pouring rain. Uh, I got my paddle board strapped to the roof there. I don't know if you can see that. Oh, there we go. Got my fly rods with me, and I'm going to a place that I've been wanting to try out for the longest of times. So I've never fished there before. Um, I actually have no idea like what I'm getting into, but I. Uh, and the most that I've been able to learn is from, you know, what I can find on the internet and some Google Maps. So, uh, that's the thing about doing all this is you're going to have no idea until you get out and you just go try and fish it. And that's exactly what I'm going to do. Let's see what happens. All right, I got to find a place. See where I can drop in. I got to see if it's even worth dropping in here. Oh, yeah. That's where I'm going to go. I'm going to drop in here. Go upstream. That water looks nice. All right, let's get this going. Throw my gloves on. It's a little bit, a little bit chilly. Here we go. It's nice, got the little wheels right here, so I could just slide it right over to me. The handle, and then boom. All right. Looks like a decent spot to try and get it set up here. Oh, sorry, I just noticed somebody's bag over here. I always finding people's stuff. <laughs> Man. Oh, I'll hang on to this for them. Got the person's fishing license on there too, so I'll pop their gear in there after I pull mine out. Let's go. Boom. Check. I'll throw this bad boy right here. Boom. Oh yeah. And tighten it down. Don't need to be super secure, just enough to stay. Last but not least, you get those rods out. Okay, I'm going to walk you through my two setups that I have here. Okay, I have two fly rod setups. Both are seven weight. Uh, this is 10 and 3 inches, and this is 10 foot. Uh, this is a medium fast action rod. I'm going to use it as my nymphing rod. So I have a nymphing rig set up on this with an egg pattern and a streamer at the, at the tailing fly. And then this one I'm going to be using as my, my streamer rig. And I have set up to it a, uh, a poly leader from Orvis that's like super fast sink. So I'm gonna be using this to strip streamers. Uh, can't really see it. But I'm gonna use it to strip the stream, strip streamers as well as swing flies. The first thing I wanna do is, I'm actually just gonna grab my nymphing rig, head over there real quick, and just try out um, that faster water real quick. Cause I love trying out faster water. We're on a split shot here. By the way, this is awesome. Like, it's pouring rain. Nobody else is out here. Just me, like, I love it when it's like that. Don't get me wrong, I like fishing with people sometimes, good, but I also love it when it's just by myself. Oh yeah. That's what I hit, a little small. Shoo. I'm after your big brothers and sisters. That right there, that's pike, musky, and walleye food. All right, it's time to go. Let me grab a water temp here. Now, this is gonna be the surface temperature, but 
I think it'll give me a good enough idea of what the core temperature is. Under 50, okay. Yeah, let me uh, drink a little coffee here. So never again am I gonna leave home without a coffee if it's cold out. Oh man, this stuff is the sweet elixir of life. <laughs> no, stop. Bad, I see ya. Like a dummy. He's an idiot. All right, we're good. Quick recovery. Gotta get away from this tree. Let's not do that again. For the lesson learned, don't go under a tree when you got two rods sticking up. Okay. And just explore here. Never been here before, so I want to see what, you know, what the terrain looks like, what type of structure we have. Hard to tell what's under the water because it's getting muddied up. lot more paddling and I found this really nice like run right here that I just got to try so beautiful looking cast in front of me here and then work my way up man this spot is just absolutely beautiful here I can't get over it ready to check out this sweet man yo oh yeah Right in the bush. I guess that's probably indication that I should move on. All right, it's definitely coffee and some snack time. Here's what I got in the snack bag. Got a bunch of granola bar, cashew bars, and the newest edition, some uh, ostrom jerky. This is like, this is elk and ostrich meat. Elk and ostrich meat. And uh, I had one already the other day after, <laughs> after I did like a run and oh my gosh, it's delicious. This thing's like a full meal. But I usually have beef jerky when I'm out here, but this is a buddy of mine's company. I had no idea it even existed. And I was like, you know what? I'm going to try some of that. So I scooped up a box and uh, this is a, this is what I'm going to have now from, uh, from now on from my trips. All you need really is just one. I mean, look at that thing. Oh my good. It's like a cigar. <laughs> one thing I will say for sure after you eat this you better drink like some water or Gatorade or something <laughs> if you try it you'll know why I gotta look them up Ostrom I don't know if you can see that I'm gonna cross my way over here and try from this side and get a few drifts in oh yeah we and I think I'm just going to park it right here. Throw a few casts off of the sup here and then I'll just walk around. Got one. I don't know what I got, but I got something. Sucker. Oh, man. Come here, buddy. I'll take it. That a weird. Look at his nose. Crazy looking. Thanks, dude. First fish of the day. Let's get another one. What we got? Oh. All right. I mean, I do think this is going to be a sweet spot when uh, the water warms up a little bit and temperature warms up. So I'm going to have to come back here when that happens. All right, I'm going to leave this area. Oh, so came out here thinking, you know, maybe I'll get in some pike, muskie, some bass maybe. And uh, <laughs> I'm struggling to make it happen. But there's beautiful scenery all around me. That's what guys say when they don't catch fish. It's like, well, at least 
I'm out in nature. <laughs> That's what I say at least.